Today we're going to talk about one of the easiest things to do in SQL Server, yet, and probably one of the most important tasks as well, yet one thing that I've noticed uh, quite a few people have difficulty on, as a case in point, one of my senior level colleagues, I asked him the other day to back up and restore a database, and he actually didn't know how to do this, even though, again, he's a senior level position at um, in terms of database management. So. We're going to discuss how to just back up a database, how to get the information on a database before we restore the database, and then how to restore a database. And this is, again, a very simple thing to do. We're just going to do it in T-SQL. You can do it in C-sharp. You can do it in PowerShell. There's numerous ways to do this, but we're going to do a really quick one in T-SQL because in this case, from time to time, you may only need to restore one database, and um, there's no need to do it in you know fancy, powerful tools when that happens. So. To backup a database, all we have to do is run the backup database script. So we're going to backup database and we're going to be backing up database client marketing. And we're going to back it up to disk. And I'm going to do it to D backup uh, client marketing dot BAK. So the syntax really fast is backup database, the database name to disk, there's an equal signs here, sometimes what people forget, and uh, then they're backing up it to uh, this location. You'll notice that the location is between two, um, uh, two single apostrophes. Okay, and so I'm gonna check really fast to make sure that client marketing isn't in, in there. If you'll give me one second. Okay, it was. All right, and so let's back up the database. And you can see it's a small database, so it backed it up. Okay. So, one of the things, um, as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of work to do at all. Um, and so this is one of the reasons why I want to point this out is that if you're asked by a colleague to back up a database and restore it or something, it, this is not going to be something that takes a lot of work. Okay, but let's suppose we wanted to restore a database. Okay, so normally we would run a script, we would run the same, a similar script, restore database, and then we would say client marketing from disk, and we're going to just go ahead and copy and paste this. And then we're going to be faced with the logical names and the physical names. Now in this case, first of all what I'm going to do is drop the database because we can't restore a database. if it's already in existence, or we could, we could just rename it something else, but in this case, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I deleted the database. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my databases here so that it knows. And then of course, we need to restore the database. We're gonna restore the database client marketing from the disk, notice where we, were, we backed it up at. So this is fairly simple, this right here. But when we're moving it, we need to know the data logical name, so we can put the physical name here. Uh, and that's the physical location. And then we need to know the log logical name so we can put that in the physical location for our log. Okay. But we don't know that. Right? Even though we backed up the database, we just have it as a BAK file. We don't know what that is. So, one of the things that we can do is we can restore the database. Uh, I'm sorry, no, it's actually restore file list only from disk. I believe it's from disk. It may be to disk, but I think it's pretty sure it's from disk. I can't remember if I have to put the database name here or not. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, so you'll notice we have a logical name here and we have a physical name. So we are going to drop our logical name there and we are going to drop our logical name here. Now that's this is the logical name of the log. This is the logical name of the data file. Okay, and you will see and again, SQL Server does all the work for us. This is where the data file is, and 
I don't have a problem storing it here because this is just a test database that I do test work on. I don't do anything big. Um, so it's going to drop. It's moving the logical name, the data file, to this location. And it's moving the log, logical, logical file to this location. And that's very important. Again, if we didn't know what it was, and you may be faced in this situation, you back up a database, but you don't know what the logical names are. I always have a, a similar structure to how I do it, but not everyone does. And if not everyone does that similar structure like I've done here, then you can always run this script, this file list only, and you can get that information. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to code this out, and we're going to run the restore database. Okay, and then I want to refresh our databases here. Refresh, and just to prove that it exists now, select star from client marketing dot sys dot tables. And you can see, blam, all of the tables, the database is now exist. Now, one thing I will say about this is sometimes it doesn't, see, it doesn't, oh, I don't recognize client marketing, um, but it actually exists. This window hasn't refreshed. But there's, I mean, the simple way to do things right off the bat. Um, back up the database, it is literally that simple. Um, it is a two-line script. It's not complicated. We're not doing any check. Um, there are ways, and I think in one of my other videos, we do a check to, to make sure that it's a valid backup. But this was one of those backups that I did uh, that a colleague was doing for me, and he didn't know how to do it, and it was pretty simple. Then we restore from the file list only just to see what we have. And you can, we can even execute this script now. And it tells us all the details that we need to know about it. You can see how small it is. And then, of course, the restore database script is the longest part of the script. And that's it. It does not take a lot of work to back up a database, to restore it, or to even get the information that you need.